Yeah, see? It's, I only have an hour's worth, and it goes only until Tuesday, March 26th at 2.13. But the time is 3.39. So where's the footage from 2.13 to 3.40? I need that footage from 2.13 to 3.40. Can I find it? Let's see. All right, so we're missing that footage. I don't see it. All right, it's about 2.15. So what am I gonna do? Let's go back here. That's weird because it says it's recording. Right, but when you go here, you go to recents here. See, two fifteen. So I need to find that co that footage from two fifteen to three forty, and I'm gonna remove this uh, SD card now. All right, so let's turn this off. I'm gonna turn off Sentry, and then I'm gonna press and hold. I saw a flash, so now it's paused. I'm gonna take this SD card out, right? So now I'm gonna um, uh, load this on my uh, disk drill at home to see if I have that footage from 2.15 to about 3.40 p.m. I'm going to remove all right here it is um i'm at my desktop i'm gonna open up this drill uh yes and this is my um flash drive it is uh 128 gigabytes all right it is 128 gigabytes i'm gonna pick that drive and i'm gonna search for lost data there you go so I guess right now is starting off at 32 gigabytes and 1300 files so this should grow as it starts um, reading the the drive and looking for hidden files all right and now I'm gonna verify um, in my file explorer to see exactly what is under recent clips and under recent clips it should be an hour so I took it out around 340 so yep this is what we're getting March 26 at 115 and it ends at about 2 14, 1.15 to about 2.14, and then it jumps to 3.40, because that's when I started viewing the uh, the drive. And then I pulled it out around 3.40, 3.42 p.m. So I do have footage from 3.40 p.m. to 3.42 p.m. I'm just missing all the footage from 2.14 p.m. to 3.40 p.m. So I'm missing about an hour and, um, was that, 20 minutes? Yeah, hour and 20 to, yeah, hour and 25 minutes. All right, so let's see what we can uh, recover using uh, disk drill recovery software. So it's still scanning, we're only about 16% complete. But now we're up to 46 gigabytes and uh, almost 2,000 files. All right, um, so the disk drill has finished scanning the USB drive. Scan completed successfully. And uh, this is uh, the data that it ended up with, um, including all the hidden files. Uh, 151 gigabytes of used space, 
on the drive uh, and there are 66,101 files. Um, all right, and if you go into the reconstructed videos um, and you, you're gonna see that there are about 3,457 video clips. So what I did was I went into uh, all the groups, one, two, three, and four, checked out all the videos, clips, and unfortunately, I could not find that missing hour and a half from about 2.14 p.m. to about 3.40 p.m. today. I could not find any of those clips, and I searched all over the place. So, um, again, there's no way of telling what time it is. There's no um, timestamp. So what I did was I mounted my watch at the back camera to be able to verify. Um, and I could not find that hour and a half uh, of missing footage today. So that's unfortunate. Sometimes I see that and what I do to fix it is I'll do a walk around the car and then I will reformat the disc and then um, check back again. Uh, later on to see if my uh, dash cam is, is is saving the last hour of footage and so I'll, I'll, I'll check that every so often and if I notice that um, you know the disc is getting full or uh, it's not saving properly then I'll do a reformat and then I'll check it again later so everything uh, I, I believe that that that's what fixes it sometimes and just keeping the disc clean and not full of video clips and not approaching maximum uh, memory. All right, if you enjoyed this video, if this helped you any in any way, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, and if you know why the, uh, the dash cam doesn't save um, certain um, minutes or hours um, and um, doesn't save it to disk, please uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you know why it does that. And uh, 